Live question here from Ivar. How many phases is there going to be in for the test net? Are all the phases going to be incentivized? Can it be run on all devices, for example, mobile, computer? What's the maximum point a testnet user can get from test nesting? Do I get extra points for redelegating my stake? Sure. So there's, oh, wait, hello? Yeah, there, OK. So there's four phases, right? So the, the first one is on um, the oracles and staking, as you've outlined. So I'll, I'll kind of jump around in answering those. So one piece was the maximum number of points. So it's essentially just that every test net has its own sum of points that you can accrue, which direct, is directly proportional to the incentive rewards that you get at the end. Um, the second test net is more like uh, seeing how big we can. It's basically like doing different governance proposals and seeing how big we can make the, the set. So we'll put more param changes and things to essentially see, uh, can we keep a you know, one and a half second ish block time with like 200 or 300 validators. Uh, Cause we, I've seen some write-ups on some of the scaling limitations uh, that you get with uh, a Cosmos chain if you have too many, but all, a lot of the chains I see actually are near the, uh, you know, kind of in that 60 to 120 range. So we want to just do like an empirical test and see how big uh, we can get with that. Um, then for three and four, uh, the idea is to roll out a lot of like new features uh, that are basically to optimize AMM pricing and this uh, automatic liquidation protocol, which we have like more stuff coming out on in a, in a later week, and then a trading competition. So there's four phases, all of them are incentivized and they'll include like new releases or, or additions or improvements of our modules, but then also have different tasks. Yeah, we have um, more detail in our latest update. I think that's also the most recent blog post. Um, just a reminder that you can post live in the thread